Hey everybody, it's Glenn, and introducing my special guest co-host for this video, it's... It's me, Logan! And we're declaring it Wolverine Week here on my channel, counting down to the release of the new movie with a new video uploaded every day for the next seven days. Kicking it off with a special Wolverine-themed edition of Confessions of an eBayaholic. Yeah, that's right, Bob. We've trolled eBay for the very worst Wolverine action figures money can buy. So weighing up the stupid, the pointless, and the downright ugly, we're going to count them down from five... To one. At number five, it's Werewolf Wolverine. Why? Well, Wolverine is cool. Werewolves are cool. So some toy exec in 1996 thought the two would be a match made in heaven. How wrong that exec was. The backstory of this figure is that while camping and hiking in the European mountains with Nightcrawler, Wolverine was bitten by a werewolf. Nightcrawler then seeks out some gypsies to cure his friend. Yet, alas, no cure for this figure. It had the potential to be a cool toy. Unfortunately, the execution is so poor and the sculpt just terrible. With the aid of this mirror, let's ask Werewolf Wolverine what he thinks of himself. Yep, that was my exact reaction when I first clapped eyes upon this figure too. At number four, it's Space Wolverine, and look, he's still in packaging. That means I'll be able to sell this one day and retire on the proceeds. Not anymore! Yet with the benefit of the card back, we can read just what led Wolverine from looking like this to this. The X-Man known as Wolverine will travel anywhere for a good fight with the forces of evil, even to the far reaches of outer space. <laughs> you may laugh, but with only 7 billion people on the planet, at some point I was going to run out of people to slash and stab. Anyway, back to the bio. Wolverine's space armor protects him from the hostile conditions of deep space. Hang on, I would think for a space suit to protect you, it would at least need to be airtight and not just cover your arms and legs, leaving most of your body exposed to the vacuum of space. Every organ in his body would instantly turn to vapour and burst through every pore. Try healing from that, Wolverine. If I can survive Wolverine Origins, then I can survive anything! Next up, and have you ever wondered what you get a man who is expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat and pretty much every martial art there is? I mean, just what is he lacking in battle? Battle action mega armour, of course. No backstory was ever given for the Mega Armor. Not true. Tony Stark built it for me as an April Fool's prank. As a return prank, I killed Pepper Potts and left her dead carcass hanging in his office. Oh, we laughed. Ha, ha, ha. So we fit Wolverine inside, lower this part, which seemingly renders Wolverine completely blind. And it seems the whole Mega Armor seems to operate on a system of just two levers. And by battle action, I assume they mean he does this with one hand and Nils Grain with the other. And the second worst Wolverine figure ever, it's Megamorph's Wolverine. What's a Megamorph? Well, it's what you call a toy when you have no legal right to use the word Transformers. Yep, this little beauty transforms, sorry, I mean Megamorphs into, 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 into a heap of plastic junk! Yeah, take that, Megatron! Joking aside, it transforms into this. A jet, they claim. Entirely pointless, yet at the very least, it's given me a place to stash my drugs when the police raid. And at number one, the worst Wolverine action figure of all time... It's me! But you're my co-host. Co-host or no co-host, just look at me. I look like a cross between Joseph Merrick and your grandmother after she died of a stroke. True. What? Now please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Bye.